Hello guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Kerbal Space Program with me, Wall377. Now, admittedly, it's been a while, um, but I have been busy doing life stuff. But I just wanted to show you a quick video of what I've been up to uh, in in uh, Kerb Kerbal. Uh, so we've got Jebediah here on a moon, and this is the moon explorer, which I've uh, set off. Um, and it's been pretty much all around the moon. Um, so right now, uh, he's just going to go on a quick EVA, so this is part of the operations that he's been doing. Uh, he doesn't need to get off the ladder for this, so he's going to take a surface sample and also um, do an EVA report. And now he's going to go back into his little little cabin, and in he goes. Retract ladder! Okay, so let's review that stored data, and we can see that 100% can be transmitted of EVA, so we do that. Uh, surface sample, what we want to do is keep that. We've got MechJub installed to help us out, so we're just going to put in some landing coordinates. I've got it all written down, I've got my own little uh, mission manual here. So that's going to be 5204, and this is 7256.10, and that's south and east correct. Okay, so now all we have to do is put on SAS and shuttle up. Um, and here we go. Gosh, what a lovely game. Obviously there's been loads of updates. Um, well, two official updates, I think. And I've been playing uh, a little bit of career mode. Well, quite a lot of career mode. And this is really my career mode um, end game uh, sequence I'm showing you here. Because uh, I did struggle, especially with the science. I still haven't unlocked all the parts. I really do struggle with getting a lot of science. I mean, you could spend... Um, hours on a mission and you've got no guarantee really that you're going to get anything meaningful back for, from it you know you might get a little bit back but you know it's so easy to forget things and um, well what's going on here okay I think it just glitched glitched a little bit okay seems to be okay I might just quick save just in case uh, something does go wrong uh, anyway so this is going to be uh, throttling up towards uh, my base, which is also in the moon, <clears throat> and I'll show you what's on the uh, the moon even, and I'll show you what's on the moon uh, on the moon base that I've set up. It's pretty cool. Um, what could you see here that might not be stuck? So um, this port here is a radial uh, radial connector port, which is part of the KAS mod, Kerbal Attachment System, which is pretty much uh, an amazing mod. Obviously you've got MechJeb installed which isn't isn't stock. So MechJeb, CAS and Keythane I've also got installed um, which is why I'm able to explore the moon um, with this thing over and over again. Uh, and this this lander can pretty much get on anywhere anywhere on the moon with a full tank of gas. So here you go you can see my my moon methane base and another explorer there. Uh, it's not the same ship. I created an explorer, but it was just too heavy to to go exploring. Anyway, this should be starting the deceleration burn soon. There you go. And that should deorbit. So we see our base coming into uh, coming into the picture slowly but surely. Uh, and this this little craft here, um, I don't use the fuel tank that much. I don't really keep it full either, I always keep it empty you know, or just a little bit in there to help me manoeuvre when I land, because it never lands in the right place um, but yeah, I mean this has done me really well, it's a nice little throttle I've got my mechjeb port on the back um, these were done in error so I've got a seismic accelerometer and a temperature um, thermometer there uh, that's because I left you. I always do it, I left the um, symmetry on when I placed it Right, that's frozen there. Um, oh, are we back. It freezes when the base is about 2k away because it has to load in the base and it's a bit big in this day and age. You can kind of see it coming into coming into view. It's not epic or anything, it's literally just a little start I did in order to get um, some science. And I'll show you what I've been doing. Um, I've, I've got a list of about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 locations I visited um, and this is the last one that I'm coming back from 
Um, God, it always does this. Uh, yeah, so 15 locations. I've done this 15 times. It has taken a while, um, but I, I've nearly unlocked everything. And this last mission should give me all the science I'll ever need for any future updates, I'm hoping. If not, you can repeat this on any moon. I mean, this setup took me a while to, to get. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll talk you through my methane base in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's all uh, it's all pretty pretty good. So um, we'll get a bit closer, and then I'll talk you through the base. I designed this on purpose to be quite wide, uh, just because it's easier to land, and with Mechjeb landing it, I've never had any problems so far. Okay, so let's do an EVA, and what we're doing is we're taking uh, the data from there, which is basically the surface sample, just going to back up over here to the lead, here's the lead, I've just left it um, extracted from the last time I used it. Just pick that up, there we go, and put it back into the port over here, and we want it docked, oh, reek, eek, 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 there we go, okay, so, so let me talk you through what's going on here, over here I've got one of the big new tanks that, um, you know the NASA inspired parts that they put in there, that's just one big tank, I landed this thing, it's got an engine on the bottom from how I landed it. Uh, and basically this was the first thing I launched. It had a load of connectors and stuff around it. Um, which was pretty cool. And then I landed this thing over here. I'll talk you through that in just a second. Um, I just want to put this away first. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Store experiments done. Lovely. Okay, so where were we? So this thing over here is basically my keythane um, adapter. Uh, so it it will. It's got two drills in it. It drills for keythane, stores it, and it's got a converter in the middle um, that that it uses, and it can pump. Basically, um, you can set it up so that this will take uh, fuel from this tank and therefore you speed up time and it, it just kind of fills this up and then I can use this to distribute fuel to all my other ships and stuff landed. Um, so I've got my fuel battery here uh, which is the second ship I landed I think and you see I've got loads of extra parts in these um, these pa uh, uh, what are they called? I don't know what they're called, storage units I guess so you can open the container and get whatever you need out of there and this one there's 10 uh, connector ports um, that's quite cool. To land it, oh, this was difficult. To land it, I had to put a connector here. This is what th this thing here that I'm standing on. Uh, I had to put that on there and control the whole vessel from there to get to get it to land properly. That was really difficult. Very frustrating to get right. Um, the keythane lander over there, the keythane uh, adapter was even harder to get to get upright like that. That took me ages. This was probably the simplest. Um, so this here is my science module. That I brought along, um, with loads of extra parts on the top. So this this was relatively easy to handle. It looks clunky and huge, but actually it wasn't that difficult. Um, so how did I land this thing? Well, it ha originally had a base which was just about here, and uh, I was able to use all the RCS ports that you can see on the top and the bottom to manoeuvre it down safely. And once it was manoeuvred, I uh, discontinued the flight. So it looks nice and neat. Um, and there's my first original Explorer, which was just far too clunky. It was just too big. Um, it could only get me halfway round the moon before really struggling. Whereas this thing is much better. So Jebediah is going to get back in to his capsule here. There we go. Grab and in you go, boy. Board. Lovely. So one of the things we need to do now is just make sure all the science that we've collected on that last trip has been registered. So we need to review the data 
and send it off to the lab. Uh, review data lab. Review data lab. And review data lab. Uh, there you go. So that's got us 18 science, 24 science. So you got to, uh, you know, I could just spam this key, but I'm not convinced that it does it all um, correctly. So as those various different things research, uh, they'll pop up here. That goes down, and then I can click that again, transmit, and then that'll come back up. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder if I get so mystery goo. 18. Now usually when you do one and then do the other you only get 2.5 or something. So I wonder how much I'll get for the second part. Now in theory it should only give us 2.5 but if it gives us more then that's significant. Ah there you go, 2.5, 2.4 so it did it said one thing but actually only gave us another. Okay so we've done all that we can clean those experiments using the science module and there's two other kerbals sitting in there and um, so they should be getting cleaned up. Oh, they already are clean. Oh, something weird goes on. When you've got this seismic scan being um, sort of analysed, everything else seems to happen instantly. I don't know if that's a I guess it's a bug, but I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. So you wait to see how much science I get from this uh, seismic scan from the Mun's Twin Craters. Remember, I've done this on like, you know, however many I said, 18 or whatever it was, different, different sites. So it really does produce quite a lot. Okay, so there you go, 54 science. Lovely. So that will transmit via there. Um, so yeah, you can see the keythane mod. You see these bigger pipes? Um, they, they, they're meant to help with fuel transfers, I believe. Um, but I just use them on all the static ships that I don't plan on moving for a long time. Okay, so there we go, that's done. It's kind of at the end of an era. I wanted to record this because I wanted to show you this guy over there. Um, so what I'm going to do is get a bit closer so I can actually see what's going on. I want to unplug him. Unplug. So what that does is suddenly it undocks that ship from the rest of the unit and it becomes its own ship and I can just cycle through them using the bracket keys as you normally would. So here we go, this is our thing. You'll notice what I've done is basically all the rocks I've collected from those 18 different sites are stored in here. And I'm going to bring that back to Earth. Back to Earth? Back to Kerbin. The bottom one's empty. There's going to be no Kerbals in this. I've already put a uh, probe part on the top so it can fly. So here we go. Um, we're going to go Ascent Guidance and we want this to get to... Let's go for 20 kilometers. This is all full. Um, oh, no it's not. Why isn't it full? And that's not full either. And I've already disconnected it. Okay, that's annoying. Come on, you've got work to do, boy. That is quite annoying. So I'm really hoping I can get this back. The, the idea of this whole mission is to get this back to Kerbal with all this, these, these uh, moon samples in. And if I can do that, the amount of science I should be able to retrieve will basically set me up for life. Okay, let's get you back to that ship, or any ship actually, it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll put you back here for sakes. I wonder if this could get back to Earth, uh, Kerb Kerbin. It's got no parachutes on it, so that'll probably be a bad idea. I don't know why I kept my finger on shift then for a bit too long. Okay, here we go. Eek, eek, eek. What's wrong with me? I can't control this guy at all today. And in you go. Lovely. Okay, so let's just quickly transfer some fuel. Now I'm going to unplug. Switch to the Thingy, it knows that, it knows that. Prevent overheat, limit to velocity, it knows all that. Engage. Here we go. Back to Kerbin. 
goodbye, moon base, moon base. So, um, clearly that bottom one wasn't needed. I didn't do the maths before I set off. But I have visited every biome here. I've got a mapping satellite in orbit that basically tells me um, which, what the different biomes are. They're all color coded, and I've um, written down the coordinates for each one and visited them all. Okay, so next we need a maneuver planner when this finishes. So this will warp to the highest point when it lines up. Oh, try to. Does it warp? I don't know. Yes, it should. Here we go. And then it will do a six second burn. And it's already used up a lot of fuel. Oh, will it be able to get back to Kerbin it better? Because if it doesn't... <sighs> that's quite a lot of fuel it's going to need to get back. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Stop worrying about it. I'll be fine. It should be fine. Just keep an eye on this. I mean, it is ticking down very slowly, so we should be okay. See, look, we're already in orbit of the moon, and that's half the battle, isn't it? So to get back to Kerbal, Kerbin is a lot easier. So um, we're going to abort, abort that and removal nodes because it just tends to burn. It will burn useless amounts. So there we go, you can see the nice orbit there. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to do it a maneuver to return from a moon. Let's see what this node looks like. Oh, beautiful. Um, so that does all the work for us, really. That's all wicked. So if we execute that node and have a look at the details of it. So it's saying a four second burn. It's probably going to be a 30 second burn. Um, wow, that really is efficient. I'm guessing like the uh, the node is just MechJeb kind of calculates where the most efficient burn is going to be. So at the moment it's going to warp all the way around. I don't know how fast it can warp, obviously not that fast. So I'm just speeding up now so it can exit the influence of the moon. Bye moon! God, this mission's been a long time coming. Okay, and we're back. We're back. So what we're going to do is get rid of that node planner, get the landing guidance up, and say F5 at first, because we don't know if this is going to go right, but we're going to say land it at the pad. And now this is going to take over land at target. Okay, maybe that's what I had to do. So this just sets the target, and then you have to land at that target. God, I'm an idiot. Okay. So here you go. Here's the burn, the correction burn it's doing. Okay, so I think that means we've just entered the atmosphere. No way out. Oh, this is landing us quite nicely actually. I wonder if we'll get actually in the complex would be nice. I don't think that's going to happen though. I think we're slowing down too much. I think we're going to land here ish. At least let's just hope this lays it down nice and gently. 
going quite slow so it shouldn't be a problem and just lay us down and they can basically roll it into the lab Oh, <gasps> what are you, are you exploding? what's exploding? okay just the okay I think we're okay lovely okay let's go back to the space center and retrieve it um, not there material shuttle material shuttle lander okay so lander first um, not sure what this means. So recover that. Yes. So you go. We've got 50 science from something. I guess I don't know what that is. Recovery of a vessel. So yeah, fair enough. Five science. This should be the one. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. 1,400 science and on that mission. So we've got surface samples from practically everywhere on the moon. So yeah, um, I might repeat that whole process again on something like Minmus, which is going to be a lot easier to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you I hope you've got a better idea of how to get science, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Uh, if you like um, this video, please like, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I'll do another one or some more. Okay, thanks for watching, and bye for now.